This is the world of Bleach, where 200 players will be exercising hollows trying to survive. The world is filled with deadly hollows, Quincy's, and even captains. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world. So don't miss your chance. Get comfortable, grab some snacks, and this is the 200 player Bleach simulation. Our story begins within the three main teams, the Shinigami, the Quincy's, and lastly, the Hollows. Let's get you guys accustomed. Shinigami were in charge of keeping this city safe by exercising some Hollows. More importantly, they also have to keep the Soul Society safe. They have these swords called Zanpakuto, which you can level up starting from Shikai's all the way to Bankai's. The second team we have is the Quincy's, who are hiding amongst the Shinigami. They actually see Hollows as monsters and are trying to annihilate them rather than exercising them. Lastly, it's the Hollows. Not the creatures, but the more human ones that roam around attacking people. They spawn up here in the portal to Hueco Mundo. We all spawn here in the city of Karakura Town, filled with hollows around every corner. This soon began phase one, preparation. Players, which we'll be calling Shinigami, are to kill hollows to get stronger, loot the structures, and get to the Soul Society. My story began here, lost in this dang city. Dude, what the hell? Is that a hollow? Yo, yo, I'ma just... Oh my god, he's chasing me. Why is he chasing me? I ended up running for my life because I didn't even know why she was chasing me. That led me down to this random house. But little did I know, I lost the person that was chasing me down. But the longer that I hid in this house, the more and more hollows that spawned around me. Dude, what the heck are those things? Ew. Dude, there's so many of them. I'm actually surrounded. I think I'm good though. Because I could just go out the back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How are they spawning during the daytime? Dude, I need to find some teammates. Ew. Why is it peeking out like that? Two players ended up killing off the hollows out there, and they were Aweka and Jin, who became my first two allies in this simulation. Me and Aweka ended up picking Shinigami, but Jin, on the other hand, she was hiding something from us. She just wouldn't tell us what class she picked, but I guess she has her reasons. It's whatever, I didn't pay too much mind to it. These were my stats. Level one, literally nothing. I need to start getting more powerful in case I ever see Razby again. That's when we found our first group that had form. The group was known as the Soul Protectors and they were actually strategizing against the Shinigami. Apparently they were a gang of people blocking travel between the human world and the Soul Society. This includes who Echo Mundo and the Wanderage. We knew we needed a bit of a bigger team, so we ended up meeting this random kid named Okram here, who for some reason wanted to be in our team. I guess we're doing a lot of charity work nowadays. Another problem we ended up facing was the food shortage. Me and you, we gotta go get food, okay? Oh, uh, hell no. Nah, it's my food, bro. Matter of fact, I'm robbing you. Put your I'm robbing you. Take off your clothes. Crazy. Maybe we shouldn't make any more enemies. I can't run, I'm starving. <laughs> oh. 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 Actually, actually in poverty. After hearing the news about the soul protectors, we set out to explore the city and locate exactly where it was they were basing. Maybe we could loot them. One thing that we didn't know about the soul protectors was that they weren't only protectors. Rumor had it that they were also killing off Shinigami, but we didn't really know that at the time. This was a clear indication that there's something hiding behind these bars. Follow me, follow me. Whoa! Me a Red room? But what exactly was it that an entire team decided to dedicate their time here to hide it? Now that we found it, we went around the place to find these two locked doors. Who's this guy? Someone there is giving us access to this place. If we found them, a bloody note and an amethyst relic. Kind of weird, but it was clear to us that something we needed was in there the clues that we were given was it lies in the woods on the other side of the abandoned it, wait Not other the other what what other <laughs> lies other. what <laughs> What? Okay, one lies in the woods and the other lies in the <laughs> oh, other. Oh, okay. Mokram, you're yeah, gonna go just run as far as possible in one direction. Oh. <laughs> and uh we'll uh we'll, we'll we'll do the task. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> get to the woods, get to the woods. The woods okay, we're no, in a Okram, city. Come After a little bit of exploring, it was obvious that the city was gigantic, which led the start to our search in the woods. We found a chest filled with 16 arteries. There were a few hollows hiding out there. We tried to exercise them. They were kind of tough. We got outnumbered really quickly, which led us to run this way. And that's when Aweka found this. <gasps> Yo, I found something. So we purchased some with the arteries, which was a random food source, but a staple in all of my events. We got 
one item down. We needed the other item though. Using the hint of it being in an abandoned store somewhere in the city, we left the woods alongside some other Shinigami. But we were worried that we were being spied on by some fake Shinigamis. We had no idea, not to mention the girl that chased me in the beginning, I didn't even know if she was going to come back for revenge. So I had to stay on guard. The city was a hot spot for them. I didn't really want to run into the person chasing me down until I got my Shikai, which will turn my sword into a much stronger one with abilities. We ended up back at what Oweka thinks is a Walmart, but I think is a 7-Eleven to see if we missed anything. Nada. During this search, we ran into a warlord, someone who just raided the convenience store back there. And they gave us some food from there as well. I should do a business with you, my friend. Some of the smartest Shinigamis began to start looting the buildings for their iron block. We considered it, but there's no real point. We needed to get to the Soul Society before everyone else and before it got too hectic. This is when we found our first structure. It was home to one of the captains, and they weren't too friendly. We went up there to get a bird's eye view of the place, though. But some people beat us to it. Oh, there are people in here? Up here, up here, up here. Right, run, right, right, run. Right. There's stairs. I'm just gonna break this glass because I can. Oh, wait, there's people up here. And we found this. Yo, what is you holding? That loot could have been ours if it wasn't for these randos. I'm not gonna lie. We were feeling a bit spiteful. The one structure that wasn't looted was basically taken from us. So we followed this icy person down. We found him distracted crafting something alone. I think he's over here. And we decided to jump him. Here. Yeah, there he is. There he is. You guys ready? Yeah. We're gonna take those and get to. Hey! Get him, get him, jump him, jump him, jump him. Come here, little boy. Dang. Damn. Wait, let me get this one. With this new sword, I was able to do a bit more damage. But it still wasn't really mine, which meant I didn't get any of the ability. Bummer. That was a problem for future me, though. We leveled up regardless. That's when another captain of the Soul Society showed up. Yakuya. And I wanted to level up quickly. I knew if I defeated him, I would level up a whole bunch. So the fight began. <laughs> so we killed him for nothing. <laughs> Oh, we killed him for the nah. sword. Okay, okay. Come on now. You guys want to kill that that captain though? We might get it's a right lot here. of XP right from here. it. It's right here. It's yep. it's it's, yep. it's it's still going around. Look at it. Look at it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't even oh, see die. it, dude. You're gonna die? What? Wait, wait, what? I'm not regenerating. God. Yeah. Kill it. Ow, I'm 2 HP. Ow. Stupid bot decided it'd be a good idea to go into Ow. the bushes. You insect. Ow. Damn, his health is so high. Oh. Yeah. Even though there was about four of us, we still couldn't defeat it, even with the randoms help. I'm teasing it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Okay, maybe we're not strong enough for this yet. Despite this, we were too weak and there wasn't enough of us here. We were for sure have gotten eliminated. So we kept it pushing. Every Shinigami here was pretty clueless. Luckily for us, there was a group of people that decided to become teachers because they knew more about the mod than we did. Helping people upgrade their swords. And this dude ended up being my one. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? That is a big I'm kitchen back. knife. I'm that back. is a big kitchen knife. I stole it from someone. <laughs> Oh, who'd you steal from? His name was Fuego. Besides the assault, Fuego taught me how to get my sword to its Shikai form. I had to kill off a speed hollow to get the sword I wanted. So I found some and put them to sleep. And by sleep, I mean their deathbed. All right, yo, back off, zombie. Back off. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Munch on this stuff. I'm after those guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a bunch of hollows over here. Some scorpions. I think those poison me. I don't want to mess with those. Power hollow. Oh, oh, God. Okay, okay. Let's go. You wanna go? Let's go. Ow. Chill out, chill out. Ooh, chill out on me. Oh, yeah, you wanna go? Let's go. Come on. I take those. I take those. Ooh. Ooh, get out of here. Stupid. Let me eat this up. Ow. Damn. I need to kill some more of these guys. Here you are. Ow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting hit. Yo, get out of my face, oh. bruh. Oh my god. Get out of my way, buddy. Yeah, get out of here. On me. Okay. Okay. Ow, dude, chill, 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 bro. Yo, who is this? That is not a speed hollow. What the hell are you? Man, you look like a fish. Yeah, get out of here. I could cheese him. Yo, this is a strap. All right, come over here, speed hollows. I got a plan now. If I just lure them over there, I could work around this. Oh, there's a lot of these random ones, though. I have to be careful. Where did my teammates go? Bruh, me here, buddy. Oh, God. All right, you're kind of creepy. What the hell is that thing? That thing flies. Yo, yo. All right, you, you be blowing up stuff? That's crazy. Get over here. Get over here. Bam. Where's everybody? 
And once I got that, I ended up upgrading my Zanpak Toe. It was Ichigo's. I got this one since I killed a bunch of speed hollows to obtain it. With my newfound weapon, I explored a few more of the stores within the city and found this last store. I'm just hitting all my souls. I'm gonna jump right now. What the heck? You think that the item you need is somewhere in here, but that's wrong. Right above the store was a dying Shinigami that gave me the bloody note that I was looking for. I had everything I needed for the key card. And we got in. It was an apartment building, but there were some weird areas here. Yeah, let's check out the building. Okay. Yo, what is down there? No. It seems like it's barrier. We, we can just mine around the barrier. And we ended up finding this thing. We got here early, but this is where the hollows reside, which gave us a good place to start leveling up our stat for when we got into an actual fight. But just as much as I wanted to enter this place, there was actually another person that was trying to figure out where this place was located. Where the heck could this dang kid be? I'm gonna find him. Where are you? I don't even know where my partner went milky. What the heck? Let's see. But it's simple. This guy was a bit of a creep. He was kind of following our team around and he made it down here without us knowing. Oh, don't tell me he's already in this dimension. Are you serious? Yo, where'd you guys go? Hello? Am I AFK? Dude, who the heck is that? I don't think I walked in here with them. Hold on. Okay. I could probably use... Let me test out some of these other abilities. Oh, is that one? Oh my God. Oh, I can go invisible for a bit and then... That one's kind of crazy. Hold on. Hey. Yo, what's up? Wait a minute. Oh, I've been looking for you. Why? What? Raspy was telling me I need to kill you. Oh my God, bro. She chased me at like the beginning of the event. Uh, what's she, what is she giving you, huh? What is she, is it worth it? Oh, it's completely worth it. What is it? I'm going to get a bunk. Huh? Yeah, I can't compete with that. I, I'm a, I'm a dick. No, dude. Get back here. Nah, get back here. Nah, you know, you know what? You know what? Ow, damn. All right, you know what? Take that. What that even do? Oh. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> You're so gone, dude. I'm out of here. Oh, wait, that didn't work. All right, I'm out of here. Oh. <laughs> All right, you know what? Ow, you have a two? Right, I'm gonna mess you up, bro. I'm gonna mess you You're up, bro. You're kind of strong. You're kind of strong. Ooh, ooh, I'm low. I'm low. Oh, God. Yo, yo, stay away from me, bro. Stay away from me. What the hell? Oh, God. Damn. Take that. And then. Oh, okay. I got some distance on him. There we go. How <laughs> you keep seeing me? Nah, nah, nah. I'm messing you up. I'm messing you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look who's running now. Are you chicken? You have golden. How'd you get golden apples? Rusty gave me a oh few. Now leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. You're, you're the one hunting me. Ow. Right, what should I do? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got one of those too, buddy another golden apple he's probably getting a bit low but i'm getting kind of low as well that's not good gotta think about this oh stay away from me bro yeah you thought how hey you know I, I noticed you're not right clicking your sword too much you been scared oh nah oh nah all right all right all right all right all right dude you're literally in a sim event do you not want to like create a team make like friends <laughs> i need friends why would I need friends when I'm going to have a Bankai before anybody else? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you, 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 my friend, are a psycho. I can tell you something, psycho. Where'd you go? Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm going to use one of these. Man, you know that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I lost him. Yep, believe it or not, a hole in the floor was the thing that allowed me to escape him. Then I regrouped with a Weka and Razby. The other Shinigamis in the team ended up unlocking their own Zanpak toes. So Weka got a twin blade one. Missing weapons. Damn. What the f Did you see that? Whoa. That's kind of crazy. This is my one. And Jin ended up getting an ice one. Lastly, Okram ended up getting a cane, but that's not too important. Yeah, that's a bit of a thing. This was crucial. The next way we upgrade our weapons was through something called a Bankai. But to unlock it, we had to kill a lot more hollows. There was something eerie about this dimension, but that's when we realized there were people eyeing us down. We didn't let that get to us though. We kept on killing hollows after hollows and even more hollows. Some 
thing you may not have realized is that there was a boss bar at the very top. He was known as the King of Hollows, Baragon. Sure, he might look a little silly, but he actually hits super hard. I was more curious to how much I'd level up if I killed him before too many Shinigamis even arrived and started stealing the loot from us. Aweka almost died to the King of Hollows. I'm three HPs. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Get back, get back. You froze me. I froze everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually taking damage. Freezing us over and over with her ability. But not too long later, we ended up killing the King of Hollow. And just when we got a victory, we also ended up meeting some unwanted attention. I don't know what that's used for yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Yo, he looks. You guys killed the King of the Hollows? Yeah, we took him down. Yo, bro, you do not know it's another how one. bored I was, bro. I was I had to listen to that guy 24 7. This was Nendo. He was one of the many captains that had an alliance way up in the sky. He told us that we were to stay away from the Soul Society, but we were wondering why they even were stuck here in the first place. So we kept being nosy and sneaky. On our way to figure out how to get out of this stinking dimension, we got jumped by some more hollows. We took care of it though. Even these little hollows ended up appearing. And I mean a lot of them. That's when we also discovered this what is that thing oh no Ew. Ow. yeah this thing was like a living portal it was so weird what were they thinking with this but we were on the search for where to use this actual key card i found something yo check this out come over here whoa go down okay wait this is where the key card is i don't have it, it again? Oh, i have it marco come here you little bot come on i don't know where you guys are Right, let's go we're moving forward all right luckily we killed the king of hollows that dropped the key card needed to get past here before anyone else we truly were the first people here it didn't stop us from feeling like we were being watched from some weird angle leading us into what we can only imagine is once again another portal we found some bats on the way there and we ended up slaughtering them to get stronger Whoa, <laughs> what the is this they drop rishi Kill the bats! <laughs> <laughs> we're farming bats now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we were a little bit desperate. We kept going through it and ended in a very weird looking labyrinth. It was like we were forced to keep out of it. Dead end after dead end. It truly was never ending. Every corner we went to was another hallway. It was ridiculous. We were starting to lose our very minds within this labyrinth. All right, oh, come here. Oh, Got in. Let's try this way. Adrian, I know you're in here. Spawner over here. We found some areas with some spawners, and I kept hearing really weird noises. Till finally we reached the last area. This place was filled with some parkour that we went through. Um. Okay. Oh wait. Right here. Give me a second. Where are we supposed to be going? Mm. I figured it out. <laughs> Started there. Where are we supposed to go from here? Right here. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. Hey. This is my final jump. Come on. Okay. I jump. made it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, someone pushed me down. And made it to the end, which led us into the Wanderich. This place was a wasteland filled with Quincy's, who are the enemies to Hollows, so we had to be careful. I don't think they like Shinigamis or see them too fondly. We found a structure out here. Wait, there's something oh, in wait, here. What is this? Ooh. Oh, what the hell? So we decided to check it out, and a Quincy was there. Not just any Quincy, but the king of all Quincy's. We had to take him down as well. We needed a passageway to the Soul Society. We fought hard and managed to kill him off, giving us exactly what we needed to get to the Soul Society. All that was left in our way was the players. Speaking of players, that's when we encountered someone who was here on behalf of Razby. What's up, buddy? Dude. Looking for you. Why? What? Dude, I have not seen him in like the past hour. Why is he still after me? It was Milk. He's someone who's had it out for me since the very beginning and I didn't even know. He himself was one of the elected captains in the Soul Society. Some things that the captains actually never informed to us was that they were protecting the Soul Society against the Quincy's. And with no clear way to tell who was who, everyone was on the edge. Despite this, Milk chased us relentlessly. We had to figure out a way out of there. While while he was hunting us down. I managed to lose him, and Jin found me as well. Oweka, on the other hand, was being chased by him like a little rat. Oh, Milk isn't still here. Oh, the visor thing broke again? That's so annoying. I break this. Hello there. Oh my god. Hi. Oh. You know I've been looking for you. You really know how to make a person freaking go this way. Oh 
Okay, okay, okay. That did like all my health. Holy. Okay, and take that. I'm gonna fight him. What are you doing running away, buddy? Yeah, you thought... You oh, damn, you figured out my move. Ow. That's why you can see me. You can see the username. <laughs> nope. Jump here. I, I, oh, oh, okay. Oh. Hey, yo, got it, yo, got it, yo, got it, yo, got it, yo. Oh, I see you. You're not sneaky. Take that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this. Ah, oh, I killed him. All right, I'm out of here before Milk gets here. Get me out of this place. Because of this and the lack of a working Bankai, we went back to the human world to evaluate just what we were up against. Ah, uh, great. It's you again. Hey. What, you gonna hunt me up here too? Yeah. All right. It was, it was nice talking to you. He's chasing me. With him chasing me, I had to figure out a way to actually escape. And that's when this happened. Oh, leave me alone, bruh. Right, I'm gonna hide. No, I fell in a hole. And this hole gave me one of the biggest advantages I could ever ask for. Just look at this. Where do you go? Oh, oh my god, he didn't see me. That is crazy. And I'm getting out of here. Me up. I put some stats in my speed, by the way. I got a bit too comfortable, and some people started hitting me with some long-ranged attacks. I don't really know how it happened, but you'll be able to see it happening right here. What the? How are people hitting me? That's what I don't understand. Are you guys taking damage? No. Why is it just me? I also wanted to check out some of the other captains. It was these guys. What the hell is going on here? Look how high up they are. The captains all the way up in the sky. You see that? Yeah, so I'm going up. I want to see what this is. I made it all the way up. Bruh, there's people in it, but I... There are? I don't know how to get in. We took a sneak peek at what they had going on up there. It was clear to us that there was a massive power gap between us and them look how crazy they look we made it up ah. yo what okay um, <laughs> i think we can go <laughs> yeah i, I don't think guys we Wait, this is crazy though all right guys so let me just take my c as one of your fellow hollow brethren <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm of hollow Yo, I don't think we're really safe up here. Uh, oh, no, Eka, let's get out of here. Can you do that? Okay, that Not the cool. can. I'm gonna be real. Can you go boom, boom, boom? You know, can you do that? Hey, boss. You All right, I uh, I think it's time. Yeah, yeah, dip, 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 dip. I'm jumping. I'm literally just jumping. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I might actually take fall damage. Oh. I oh what? I have one heart left. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how come I didn't take I didn't take a single piece of damage? I guess it was my skill issue. Another thing that was super weird was all throughout the event there was a hollow watching my every move. I didn't know who to trust anymore. Shortly after, a huge surge of players ended up at Hueco Mundo. And not too soon later, they'll be in the Wanderich. The Soul Society was for sure in danger. I still needed my Bankai, so I met back up with my teacher Fuego. He actually knows how to work this mod so i asked him i'm trying to figure out how to get a visor oh, yeah, yeah, i actually I have what you need to get a visor <laughs> what do you need to get a visor i lied i do not i don't have the souls oh how, many, how many souls uh how many hollow souls none do you have any hollow souls in your inventory 13. I before i could get my visor i had to unlock my bankai that was my first quest that i was given by Fue first thing i'm gonna need you to do is kill that by yourself that's your first time <laughs> okay <I'm> dead <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Dude, eat. what just happened? Eat all of these. It's gonna hurt your soul. You need to eat all of them. Ow. You need to eat all of them. Eat them. Okay. Shove them down your mouth and power. While you're doing that, let Can me I get visored you. before I get Bankai? Yes. Okay, okay. I ate them all. All of them. You oh, no, 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 no. I just, uh, I didn't realize well, I you gave me some. No <laughs> God damn. Now, for Bankai, you need to get to level 30 for your free Tenshintai. It's like a white little, super white and skinny. You can't miss it. <laughs> okay. And you also need to achieve 1,500 killing more Ooh. things. Have to. Have to have it. Okay. It is oh, yeah. a must. 
You have to have 1500 reshine by killing things and eating reshine. These things will give you a little bit of reshine at a time. Okay, so basically I have to summon this thing and kill it. Easy. I packed it up in no time. The more difficult part was the visor, especially since a technical glitch made it so I couldn't even unlock mine, leading to me having to contact the mods. You know, it happens sometimes, but we got it working. Turns out all the hollow hunting and boss fighting made it 20 times easier for me to unlock it. It looked a little silly though. Despite the commotion, we also realized that Oweka has been killed off by milk while I was upgrading. I had no idea. Oweka was no longer with us. I should have known we'd be the first person people would target. <sighs> we had to stay on guard. This was looking rough. Not too soon after began phase four, the Soul Society. The Shinigami, Quincy's, and Hollows are to choose either to protect or destroy the Soul Society. A lot of the old Soul Society captains were defeated and new ones replaced them. This also meant that those captains, the new ones, are to protect this place with their lives on the line. I know I ended up picking Ichigo as my skin and got Ngetsu as my sword, but that wasn't gonna stop me from trying trying to survive this hellish place. It was only me and Jin that remain, and that's when I realized Jin was never a Shinigami. It was a hollow. She didn't mind helping me throughout this war though, but it was very, very uneasy knowing that my closest ally in this event isn't even a Shinigami like I was. I have to be careful because I don't want to get... Dude, all of my stuff didn't even load back. Can I eat some of this? Do I want to yet? I don't know. All right, whatever. I'm gonna just go around a bit. And that's when I realized... Oh my god. I'm not letting you get away this time. Dude, why do you keep chasing me? All right, hold on, hold on. What did I even do? The one hunting me down this entire time found me. me. What the heck is going on with your voice? Put a bad taste in my mouth. I've seen you around. Bro. You don't deserve to be alive anymore. We began to fight head to head, and it was a long battle. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose. See, I didn't even understand half the stuff you said. Let's start flying. Hold on. I need to. I need to use this. There we go. Ah, right, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Ooh. All right, come on. Yeah, try to hit me. Try to hit me. Oh, okay. Wait, you actually do damage. Yo, chill, bro. I'm up. Oh, come on. What's the reload on this? Here we go. Oh. Are you able to? Oh, okay. 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 Let me get down. I don't think I reload fast enough. Dude, surely this has to do a bit of damage. <laughs> We're just missing. Oh, oh. You do nothing to me. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah, I know that did a bit. I know that did a bit. All right, okay. I'm gonna go this way. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. Let me eat up. Where did he go? Oh, oh. I know you're nearby. I'm sneaking on him. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait. Gotta be low. He's gotta be low. I need to heal myself, actually. You hide a little bit. Oh, I heal so slowly. All right, all right. Oh, there you are. Wait, why did it turn off? I need to use my Bankai again. That takes up so much. I don't have a third skill, but that's okay. Oh, oh. All right, all right. I was ready. I was ready for that. Oh God. Okay. All right. I think one more. There they are. I need to heal up. They're so annoying. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> okay, I just get. If I just sneak, sneak up on him. He's looking right at me. All right. He goes. He goes. Nothing. Dude, how did you? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh. All right. Cool down. Cool down. Cool down. Oh, you gotta be low. You have to be low. I'm at half. Yes. But at the very end, she was killed off by my very own hands. Oh my god! I killed them! <laughs> finally! <laughs> they were so annoying! They're finally dead! Okay, wait, I fully healed up from that. Jesus. This is when I met one of the captains known as Eopoke. He's in charge of multiple captains in this team. I don't think so. I don't want to make DJ. No! <laughs> she just dipped. <laughs> I hear someone. You hear that? Oh. Oh. 
what the? F That's a person. That's my teacher. Oh, there's a lot of really powerful people over there. Hey, that guy, what is that? What the is that? It looks like a giant cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> that? It does look like a cigarette. <laughs> That's you, punk, with a cigarette. He's coming to us. He's coming over. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, I'm the soul king. Yeah, yeah. He saw us and realized we weren't here to be a threat, but to survive. Uh, Whoa. Oh, oh, my God. What did I do? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So oh. much damage from my own Zach damn just bonkai. just someone. Wait, what so what were you saying? Adrian's, we got to stick together. Yeah, yeah, actually, I do need teammates, bro. Uh, yeah, sure. Holy Damn. Yeah, there's nobody alive anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. So we created our first cross-team ally. We were going to try seeing if we can survive as a group to ensure our victory. I put my trust into Eopoke and trying to kill me off once and for all. I entered back into the scene to see Jin annihilated. There were people fighting way beyond what me and Jin together were capable of. And shortly after that led to my death. Everyone was slaughtered by the captain. And the only two that remained was Milk, who was Rasby's second in command. And Eopoke ended up landing the final blow, protecting the Soul Society once and for all these simulations are not easy to make so if you want to help out any there's a patreon link in the description if you want more videos like this check out this one you might like it